Hello, everybody. It's the coach. This is Madden 20 on EA Sports. Straight ahead, we've got a great one on tap between the Seattle Seahawks and the New England Patriots. I'll be back with you again with scores around the league at halftime. But kickoff right around the corner. And standing by to call the action, here are Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. From the area known as Patriot Place, EA Sports set for football at Gillette Stadium in Foxborough. Nothing like the fanfare of introductions to an NFL game, and that was in evidence a moment ago. Fireworks, pyrotechnics, you name it, this crowd is ready as their guys get set to match up between the Seattle Seahawks and the New England Patriots. With Charles Davis, as always, I'm Brandon Gordon. Charles, you talk about storylines in this one. I think it begins and ends with our two quarterbacks, certainly two of the best in the business. And nowadays, I don't think you can get by for long periods of time without a top-flight quarterback. The way the game is played, with all the responsibility he has and how the game flows through him, if he's not on the top of his game, your team's not going to benefit at all. Two clubs here, each looking to rebound from a week one loss as we're underway on EA Sports. That's fielded in the end zone. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. So here come the Patriots to take over on offense. And they're led out by a guy who's done just about everything you could ever imagine to do in this league, the great Tom Brady. It's been a lot of fun watching him develop in his career. But that will to win, he's had that probably since birth, and it transmits itself throughout his entire ball club. Watching him play, it can be an absolute joy unless you're on the other team. And Brady's throw there, incomplete. And let's give you a look here at the New England offense. I love the versatility of Marcus Cannon. He can play guard, he can play tackle. I think his footwork has really improved during his time in the NFL. He has one of the better backstories that you're going to get. This is a guy who was diagnosed with cancer, has beaten that, and now is one of the better players in the NFL. Brady, a quick throw out to Edelman. And he will lose yardage here back at the 23-yard line. One thing we do know, he's going to get his catches. So as they move forward defensively, got to continue to focus on not giving up the big play when he does catch the ball in the secondary. And this is caught. I think he got that with one hand. And this effort will not get it done. He stopped well short of the first down at the 29. Got to love the catch. I think you got to love the gloves as well. <laughs> yeah, these one-handed catches, that was great. And they're fun. They're becoming a little more ho-hum, aren't they? Yeah, they really are. And I know that it sounds like we're taking credit away from the guys, and we don't mean that at all. They really work hard on this one-handed catch thing. But I think the gloves have to be helping in a big way. Wilson and the Seahawks take over now, first and 10 at their own 19-yard line. Back to you. Check it back. This is the Oklahoma State alum, Chris Carson. And he'll be taken down at the 20 after a gain of just one. Starting lineup time for the offense. What about Dwayne Brown, my friend? Remember when we were kids and you wanted to make sure you had the big guy next to you all the time because you needed a bodyguard? That's Dwayne Brown at left tackle. He protects his quarterback so well, as well as provides great access in the running game. On second down now. It's Carson, and he'll be marked down at the 26 with a gain of seven. He'll find Metcalf, and he's going to have the first down yardage to the 35. I like the screen being called here early in the game, especially on the opening drive, because, Brandon, 
When guys come out of the locker room, especially those pass rushers, they are so amped up to get to the quarterback that you can use that against them, and a screen pass is a great way of doing it. A lot of teams against good pass rushing teams, they want to run the screen 10 to 12 times in a game. The last run got six, now second and four. Here's Wilson. And his throw's going to be incomplete. A quick look here at the Patriot defense. Dante Hightower is a guy who can play the run with the best of anyone in the league, but he'll fool you a little bit in pass coverage. Not so bad there as well. Now they face a third down and four after that incompletion on second down. From the shotgun, Wilson. Pressure comes and Wilson's gonna go down. The sack by Michael Bennett, the native of tiny Independence, Louisiana. And, partner, it's safe to say that the secondary really contributed to that sack. Yeah, nickel set, five defensive backs. They covered everything, nowhere to go with the football. But my question is, why didn't he throw it away? On fourth down, ready to punt, Michael Dixon. Back deep for New England, Julian Edelman. And this is away. It's a high kick, and he got all of it. And that'll hit in the end zone. Much too much leg there. That'll be a touchback. The Pats at the line, ready to go. And on the first drive, three and out. I know that these are professional athletes, but I would imagine sometimes you, you get the nerves at the beginning of a game still, don't you? Those don't ever go away. And typically, what I've heard from guys and what I remember from playing, if you don't have nerves at the start of a game, it's not going to be a great day for you. You're not really ready to play. So finding a way to harness those nerves and not let them affect you in a negative way, that's what all the guys are looking for. Brady's incompletion on first down Check leads to a second and ten. Let's go one more. They'll run it here. This is James White. And he's going to be taken down here with a penalty flag on the field. Holding offense. Marcus Cannon, the guilty party there. Now they face a second and long following the holding penalty. From the gun, it's Brady. And that'll be incomplete. Took a pretty good shot as he tried to pull that one in. Couldn't hang on third down. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. Now Brady. He's got White here. And they'll bring him down here right around the 17-yard line. Well, the good thing about covering any game I do with you is I know that there's no problem with rhythm. Now, what we're watching offensively, a little bit of a problem there. Yeah, punt on the first drive, looking at another one here. Just a little slow. It, you know, they, they were talking about a fast start, but that hasn't been the case. Let's yeah, and let's face it. Any team we cover always talks about a That's fast true. start. That's true. But it's not necessarily going to happen just because they say so. And whether it's the script, whether it's, you know, just what they're going through, whether they're seeing different defenses, they're going to have to figure it out as this game moves on. The lane opens up that time as he'll be brought down just short of a first after a gain of about nine. Give him nine on the carry that time, and they're set up with a second and one. Wilson throwing quickly out to Lockett. The 20. And all the way in, touchdown Seattle. Tyler Lockett, his first touchdown here of the new campaign as his guys are able to strike first here in this opening quarter. And on that one, able to catch it, also able to have the wherewithal to take it in for the score. And how about the phases of a successful catch and a completion of a play? Look the ball in, secure the catch, and then, of course, the run after the catch that ends up in the end zone. Jason Myers now for the extra point. And this will give the Seahawks a 7-0 lead. Next to score is Seahawks 7, 
One play, two plays, touchdown. That's all it took there. A very short and sweet drive that got him in the end zone. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. That'll be taken in the end zone. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. Out comes the New England offense to see what they can do this time. They've had it twice. They've punted twice. Not the start they were hoping for. Not at all. And let's face it, every facility we visit, everyone talks about converting on third down, how big that is. In this situation, they've had to punt it away twice. So they're furiously going over things on the sidelines. What do we need to do to pick up a first down and change our momentum? On second down, they'll run with White. And able to stay on his feet past the 30 to about the 33-yard line. Brady looking to throw on third and two. And he'll have his man. That's Edelman. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. That one good for 13 at a New England first down. Throwing on first down is Brady. Looking for Edelman, and he hits him. It's complete. And he'll be down at the 46. So they go from 146 to the other on a pickup of eight. A quick throw. It's Arthega Whiteside. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Two times, two times. We got four. We got four. They'll try to pick this up on the ground with White. And he's taken down at the 43, but not before picking up the first. Give him three yards and a fresh set of downs. Brady now on first down. Goes underneath here to White. And this time he's able to take it down to the 42. It'll be a pickup of only a yard, and that'll make it a second down. Sony Michel, his first carry. I know it was a game, but you have to sense probably a little bit of disappointment there because when it's out there in open space, I think they expect to get more out of a play, don't you? Especially when you're getting it to your guy out of the backfield. You're expecting him to be able to create something, be a little more shifty. Yeah, no doubt about it. Good open field tackling held it to an okay game. Brady's throw on third down there is incomplete. Tight end has become a bigger and bigger part of the passing game in the NFL. But if you drop the football, that position can get swapped out with a you know, wide receiver in that spot, a running back in that spot. There are other ways they can go if you're not going to catch the ball. And that's not just his first drop, his second drop of the game. Wilson and the Seahawks take over now, first and 10 at their own 21. They'll start on the ground. It's Rashad Penny. Penny hit and the ball is jarred free. And it's picked up by the Patriots. And he'll take this down inside the 15-yard line. Often on fumbles, you look at the guy who coughed it up and say, geez, what did he do? But hey, let's tip the cap to the defense here. Not a problem at all, my man. I'm not even going to tip it. I'm going to doff my cap to him. Congratulations. Big time play. Knocking it free and creating something good for your team. Out comes the New England offense to see what they can do this time. The results for them so far, not that great. Well, not good at all. Three drives, three punts. Yeah, and now what you're doing is you're looking at your play sheet. You're trying to figure out what you're going against defensively. I wonder, are they showing them something they haven't seen or anticipated in practice, and maybe that's throwing them off? Or do they just have to go to a different play calling section and try and run some offense that way? On second and nine, Brady. Looking in zone, but it's incomplete. So they've been unable to capitalize on the great field position as of yet. Here's third and nine. Shotgun now for Brady. And that's going to be caught for a Patriot touchdown. Nikhil Harry, his first touchdown of the new season as his guys are on the board here in this first quarter. They went five wide in that offensive set. And racing, going three wide is a big deal. To go five, how about the way that they finish things off? <laughs> Did you just fit a race car reference into the game? Zoom, zoom. How about the way that you play? When you go five wide, that means you're going fast now. Zoom, zoom indeed. 
And a pause in the action because the booth, they see something that they want to take another peek at to find out if this was a touchdown or not. get an extra look that's what the technology is for and this touchdown will count extra point good by Gaskowski and we are tied at seven so they only needed three plays on that drive and it ends with a New England touchdown so all even at seven now as they kick it away this will be fielded at the eight and nice work on the return as they'll start their drive just past the 30-yard line. The Seattle now ready to march out of the field. And they had the fumble last time that led to a touchdown. That's a no-no. We'll see what they do here this go-around. A big no-no. Put that in capital letters. Turning it over, the other team takes it down and scores. That can be a deflator for a football team. Now it's up to the offense to get back out on the field and pick things up. No, they're out there. We'll see if they can pick those things back up. From the 38, Wilson. And that going to be incomplete. A lot of contact, no call, and it's third down. Now they face a third down and four after that incompletion on second down. Now it's Wilson. Open man is Metcalf. He's got it. And he brings this up to the 46. Good enough for the first. This has to go down as one of the simpler routes in the playbook, but oh so effective. Nice completion there. Keeps the sticks moving. Penny, a first down carry. Just a yard on the pickup there, and it'll bring up a second and nine. Here's the first carry for Bo Scarborough. And he'll take it across the 50 and into New England territory. It'll be a gain of seven, and they get it back to a third and three. They go play action with Wilson. That's into the hands of his tight end, Will Disley. And he gets this one inside the 15, just a yard or two shy of the 10. What a play that turns out to be, 36 yards. I know we love our jobs, and pretty much any play we see, we're pretty, you know, excited about. But big plays, let's face it, that's what we absolutely live for. How about that one? That was great, and what our camera missed was the fist pump from the sideline after that catch. They're fired up, that's a big game. Throwing is Wilson. Green brings it in. Now the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. Facing a second and two after that last catch, good for eight yards. Seven, seven, our score after one. Let's go, D. Looking to throw again on second down. Wilson under a heavy rush, and down he goes. Well, nothing takes a start to have a good drive quite like a big loss on a sack, does it? No, now they're looking at a third and long, and suddenly the momentum shifted to the other side of the football. And old Mo is a very, very fickle man. Wilson of the Seahawks looking for something big following the sack. It's third and long here. Out of the gun, here's Wilson. To the end zone, but it's incomplete. They converted twice on third down that drive already, but couldn't make it a third. We always talk about in-game adjustments. How about what the defense did there, able to shut them down on that attempt? Myers' kick is good. And they take the lead here now at 10-7. So they put together a good little drive there, but ultimately stalling out in the red zone. Yeah, I know a lot of people look at it as a little bit of a negative. They didn't get six points out of it, right? Didn't get the touchdown. 
but that's actually okay. They got three points. It will give their defense a little bit of rest, let them settle down over there. So all in all to me, that's a good drive. And he'll take it back to about the 19-yard line. New England with a first down as they begin the drive. And they're hoping to redo their efforts in the last drive when they got into the end zone. And just think of what it's like now on the sideline. Because when you score a touchdown, you have to go over and look at the tablet and see what you did on the last drive. When you scored points, it's a whole lot better view than when you're trying to figure out how to fix things there. On second and seven, Brady catches made by our Sega Whiteside. A gain of three last play. This time they double it and pick up six. Brady to throw on third and one. The open man is Smith. And down he goes, but he takes it up to the 40. That goes as a gain of 11 and a Patriot first down. Well, sometimes our pregame meetings do pay off, don't they? What do the guys in the locker room call him? Well, they said it with a chuckle. They called him old reliable. Yeah, that means he doesn't move quite as fast as he used to, but he still knows all the tricks, doesn't he? Even that little gentle push-off in order to get open, he finds a way to pick up a first down. Five yards on the pickup, and it'll make it second down. Second and five after the five-yard completion on first down. They'll run it. This is Michelle. It'll be a pickup of a couple, and it leaves them with a third and three. New England on third down. They've hit four of seven. Here it's third and three. Now Brady on the bootleg. He finds Roberts complete. And he is out of bounds inside the 35. His first catch, and it's a pretty big one. They get the conversion on third down. They brought in a heavy set on third down, and that usually means running play, but we have seen them throw out of that formation. And sure enough, they snuck the tight end out on that one, wound up hitting him for a first down. First down, here's White. And he'll go down here right around the 23-yard line. Another nice gain. That's now 30 yards between those last two plays. Check, check, watch the three, three second and Go, go, go. On the Seahawks, 23-yard line. They stay on the ground. This time it's Michelle, and he'll be a couple yards shy of the red zone here at the 22-yard line. A gain of just a yard, but it's a first down. On first down, it's White, and he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. That sends him two yards in the wrong direction and leads to second down. He has elite instincts from his linebacker spot. He's able to diagnose the run and flies in like a missile to stop that one behind the line of scrimmage. On second down, it's White. The second down play, not much better than the first, just a gain of one there. New England on third down. They've had good success, five for eight to this point. This is third and 11. That throw by Brady incomplete. Fair to say, hasn't been his best game throwing the football, but also not getting a lot of help out there either. Yeah, you kind of, you nailed it pretty well, you know. <laughs> He's got to throw it better, got to get more help. Obviously one that should have been caught, they've got to find a way to bring those, those two elements together so they can make some progress in this one. A dozen plays on that drive that ends with the field goal. Let's go ahead and break out some of the old chestnuts here, right, partner? Keep the ball in front, rally to it, and make the tackle, right? No big plays given up. No balls over your head. Bend, don't break. Hold on, hold on. Chestnuts? Huh, you like Come that on, one? what does that mean, break out the, just because you break, you break chestnuts? I, I'm not sure about that, but I'm just going with why they said that. I have no idea. Wilson and the Seahawks take over now, first and 10 at their 25-yard line. Wilson going to fake the give and keep it himself. He'll have a first down past the 40. And I think he's going to go. They're not going to get him. And he'll take this into the end zone. Now, hold on here. We do have a flag down. So let's see what this is about. And yes, they want the points, so they will decline the penalty. No question there. You don't think they spent a couple of seconds mulling over what the penalty would do for them? I don't even know why they asked the sideline. Not at all. When you put the ball in the end zone on a takeaway, take the points and keep moving. Extra point up and through by Myers. Our first look at the NFL scoreboard comes from Green Bay. Early lead in that one for the Packers. And we'll keep you abreast of how that one shakes out. 
Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. This is taken at his four. And he'll get it up to about the 26-yard line just across the 25. Out comes the New England offense to see what they can do this time. They find themselves down 17-10 as they come up on a first and 10. On first down, Brady. It's caught. Smith. Five yards on the catch there. Brings up second down. Second and five after the five-yard completion on first down. Brady gives this to White. Fighting through. And an alley to run. And he'll be brought down shy of the 40 at the 38-yard line. Seven yards there and a first down. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. Brady gives to Michelle. Two yards on the carry there. It'll be second down. On second down now, it's White. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. That'll be a New England first down, a gain of 12. So from Seahawk territory now, it's first and 10 at the 48-yard line. On the ground, this is Michelle. And he'll get it down here to the 43. Bringing him to the ground defensively, Tedrick Thompson. On second down. It's White, and he gets this inside the 35-yard line. A 10-yard pickup, go. and it's enough for a Patriot first down. All runs on this drive so far. It's first and 10. They go right back to White here on first down, and he'll fight forward maybe to the line of scrimmage, but that's all. No gain on the play. It'll be second down. On second down now, it's White. And oh, he's going to be brought down by the face mask. Here come the flags. This is going to get him a first down. So that flag will cost him 15. And it doesn't matter anymore how you get the face mask. Any part of it, that's going to be 15 yards. And they've got another first and 10 as the penalty keeps this drive moving. Following the penalty, Michelle. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight-yard gain, second and two. Eight yards the gain on that last run. Here's second and a couple. Switch, switch. Brady deferring to White on the draw. Absolutely nobody fooled there. He's going nowhere fast as he's stopped behind the line of scrimmage. We all have habits. We can be somewhat predictable, and you know me pretty well on second down and short. What I like to see. Play action. Yeah, without a doubt, I thought that was a great spot to call it. Instead, didn't go their way, did it? Now defense sold out for the run. Worked out well. And Brady's throw there incomplete. These guys had to settle for a field goal their last time moving the ball down the field. They may have to do it again on this drive. That could be frustrating. Yeah, I don't want to be cliche, but at least they were able to get three last time. Three here, not the worst thing in the world. So the field goal there caps what winds up to be an 11-play drive. Well, partner, that's a lot of offense to run there to only get three points. So I just wonder, are they going to recycle those plays because they were successful in getting three? Or do you go to another section of the playbook trying to find ones that get you into the end zone and get you six? Here's Russell Wilson and the Seahawk offense now getting set to go again. And he's been good. Two first-half touchdown passes, no interceptions so far. Does a lot for your confidence. Does a great deal for your team. 
gives them a lead, and they're feeling really good about how they're playing. I think he expects to throw at least another one. I was going to say, now he wants the first half hat trick, doesn't he? Oh, without a doubt. Go ahead and fling him on the field, folks. He wants that type of celebration. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. The catch and run, good for 18 and a first down. Two minutes remaining in this first half of football. A reminder coming up at halftime, we'll head to Orlando. Standing by there, Jonathan Coachman. He'll have stats and scores from around the NFL in his second week of of the regular season. This throw complete, Wilson finding Lockett. And he's able to get this one down to the 40-yard line. That one good for 14 and a Seahawk first. Wilson now 8 of 11 in this first half. He's got it first and 10. Now a throw left sideline here is complete. They'll get 34 yards there. What a first half this has been offensively. I mean, defensively, what do you do when you're getting torched like this? Now, these receivers are absolutely wearing them out. So two thoughts come to mind. One, get some oxygen. You can fill up your lungs a little bit. And number two, talk to your guys up front. You need a pass rush to help slow them down. Now a chance to make that big play really hurt. It's first and goal just outside the five. Wilson. Looking in zone, but it's incomplete. They come up here with another shot from the six-yard line, and it's second and goal now. To throw again is Wilson toward the end zone, but that's going to wind up incomplete. Tyler Lockett was the target there, but now it's third and goal. Two incompletions haven't moved him any closer, and likely throwing again, you'd have to... The Pats are going to get there. Down he goes. Now the Patriots going to use one of their timeouts as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. So out comes the field goal team now for the second time here today. And Myers able to knock it through. And high fives for that one as that drive ends in three. No problems in the field goal department so far. He's two for two. Pretty reliable here in this game, isn't he? And to me, that bodes well for them. If they need him late in the game, his confidence should be sky high. This one fielded at the five. And he's up across the 25 and down at the 28-yard line. The Pats at the line, ready to go. It was still more than a minute to go in the half. Time to try to mount a drive. And I would think that they would have to. This is today's NFL. You got to push it whenever you get an opportunity. You can never have enough points with the high-powered offenses that you face. And analytics will tell you, try and score when given the opportunity. Now the first play of the drive there is incomplete. Julian Edelman, the intended receiver. And that'll bring up second down to throw it's Brady and this one's incomplete he was looking for Julian Edelman that time and it'll bring up third down now they face a third and ten after back-to-back -back incompletions on third down a run from white and they'll get him down at the 34 and he's going to be short of the first by a few yards now the Seahawks going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with a tick under a minute to go before half. The Patriots send out their punter as he'll punt it away for the fourth time today. And did they keep it in? They did. They kept it in. It's down to close to the goal line at the one-yard line. So let's glance at a player's spotlight now with Russell Wilson. And maybe he's starting to wave the white flag a little bit. He's playing pretty well, but the pressure, it's got to him. Has to find a way to step around it, step through it, or just handle it. Because as you mentioned, he's having a pretty good day overall. Just the hits keep coming and taking those sacks. That's not the way that they want to finish a ball game with their quarterback on the ground so much. Now he'd like to stay upright. When he's been upright, he's been pretty good. Now the Seahawks call the second of their three timeouts as the clock will stop with 45 seconds to go in the first half. Second and five now. Wilson, he's got green. And they take this up near the 30 before he's taken down. Good work after the catch. Going to net him 23 and a first. 
And with that completion, he's now north of 200 yards here in the first half. Boy, a tough start for the secondary defensively. It is, and it's got to put a dent in their confidence. And, you know, you always want to keep that up and feel like you can always bounce back after plays. But with the kind of numbers he's putting up here, it's starting to wear on them a little bit, I think. So they're looking at each other and trying to figure out what defense will work and how can they play better without getting beat deep for big passes. They get 17 on that one. Move the chains. First down, Seahawks. We have hit halftime. Still two more quarters to go. We'll take a timeout. We'll be back after this. You're watching the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. It's in the game. Okay, Brandon, we'll get you back to you and Charles in a bit. But first, it's time for a trip around the NFL following an eventful opening week hit. Let's see what's happening in week two. Lastly, let's check on one final game for you. And you can see they are scoreless as they play the second quarter. And our game has been Russell Wilson, who was dynamic, as usual, in that first half. He's thrown for over 200 yards already, and his guys have the lead as well. As we get you back to Brandon Godden. Okay, Coach, appreciate it. A one-touchdown game here as we get set to resume play in the second half. Come on, fellas. The Seattle offense now set to come back out on the field. They have the lead. Now they'll be looking to extend that lead. And this is where I enjoy talking about one of my favorite subjects, tendency breakers, or counters as I also like to call them. You've done things in a certain way in the first half, and they've had ability to see what you've done. They're going to make their adjustments. So guess what? You adjust yourself and try and stay ahead of the pace because you are looking for some separation in this ball game. The adjustment to the adjustment. Without a doubt. <laughs> show them one thing, hit them with something else. Now Rashad Penny, and the second wave of tacklers is going to get him as they stop him behind the line. Call it a full three yards in the wrong direction there. Brings up second down. And that's what this defense is going to need to do more in the second half. Good pressure that time. Forces some indecision in the backfield. He's going to wind up being taken down for a nice loss. Now on second and 13. Wilson, and that is incomplete. A lot of force bearing down on him there. He could not hang on. It's third down. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. Wilson. And that is incomplete. Oh, he had a defender right there with him to force that to the ground. And fourth down now coming up. So no problems moving the ball in the first half, but they'll likely come up empty here on drive one of quarter three. And it was so important for the defense to get that stop because what we witnessed in the first half was them getting run over. And they needed the confidence, and they needed to get off the field so they felt good going forward in this game. Well, someone's going to be happy with that effort. You know who else is going to be happy? His defense. Absolutely. <laughs> He's created a very long field for that offense to try to traverse. And he got some help from Mr. Football there, checking up nicely. Good English on that punt. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. This will be a two-yard loss on the play. And it'll be second and 12. First play of the drive goes the wrong way. Here's second and 12. They keep it on the ground. White again. And he'll take this one up to about the 13. Nine good yards here on the run, and now third down. Now Brady. And that will be incomplete. Well, they weren't scared to let it fly, but it falls to the ground and brings up fourth down. It's been a struggle for him accruing yards in this game, passing the football. So there he said, hey, I'm going to try to chuck it deep, but another incompletion. Has to be a little bit frustrating because of what you just described. It's been a struggle for him here in the second half, hoping for one big shot to get him out of the doldrums. That's it, baby. We got one. 
Coming to the line here to begin their next drive, the Seahawks offense. This crew had to punt last time they had the ball, but when you've got a lead like this, you can tend to play the field position game. You are to an extent, especially if you like your defense, because you have the lead, you've been controlling the game. But why put them in a tougher spot? You want to get out there and get something done on offense and maybe take command of this game yourself. And he is met quickly in the backfield. Down he goes, folded like a lawn chair. An extra corner comes on now for the Patriots. D on third down. From the gun, it's Wilson. And he goes down. It's a Patriots sack. Romeo Aquara in there to get him for a loss of nine yards, and that also leads to fourth down. I like how they've started the third quarter here. They force a punt on the first drive, and after this sack, it looks like they'll be forcing another one as well. Absolutely. Maybe got their second win coming out of the locker room. Now here's Michael Dixon as the drive goes backwards, so he's on to punt it away. Officially, that'll go as a 52-yard punt. Not too shabby. And the Patriots take over. New England with a first down as they begin the drive. These guys had to punt their last possession, and that's become too familiar of a refrain. Too many of these drives just wound up going nowhere. But you know how in baseball, when the pitcher gets a base hit and he's on base, they bring his jacket out to him to keep him warm? A lot of times, the punter goes to the sideline and puts on sweatpants or a wrap over his leg to keep it warm. He might need a massage from the trainer right now <laughs> from all the work he's getting. Now, after the running play, we've got a man down on the field. We'll get a report when we return to Foxborough. So the big play moves him all the way across midfield to the 40 now for first and 10. That's a jet sweep into the hands of Edelman. And he is met at the line of scrimmage, and he goes down right there. In on the stop, Bradley McDougal. Now he'll throw with Brady. And that is incomplete. Big play coming up. Here's third and ten. I would expect to see some pressure here. The pressure drops off as they'll look to throw. It's caught. This is White. And they went the wrong way there. Losing yardage back at the 43-yard line. And a loss of three to bring up fourth. A pass for negative yardage, obviously no good. Maybe he shouldn't have thrown it, or maybe he shouldn't have caught it. I think we were seeing it at the same time, weren't we? Maybe you let that one go, right? Because you can see the lost yardage about to develop, but that goes against every instinct of a receiver. They're taught to catch everything, so it's really hard to be mad at him and yell at him for trying to make that play. Down here in the third quarter, obviously that's one they could have used. Yeah, and one of my favorite special teams coaches in the NFL told me what separates the kickers in the NFL versus the ones who are not is not the misses. It's the second miss in a row. Best kickers in the league, they don't miss two in a row. He's Blitz coming and down he goes. Dante Hightower coming in for the sack from his linebacker spot. The amount of sacks that they've absorbed in this game is absolutely extraordinary. Let's just face it. This offensive line, flat out, cannot handle this pass rush. It's been demonstrated time and time again. Got to imagine the pass rush will be equally intense here on second down following the sack. It's second and 18. Wilson leaves this one with Penny. And he's going to be taken down with a marker on the field. So let's see about the call. That penalty against D.J. Fluker, the behemoth out of Alabama. They'll come up now on a second and long after the hold. From the shotgun, Wilson going for Metcalf on the deep ball. And that'll be incomplete. Good protection that time, and they couldn't hook up on the long one. Now it's third down. Third and long, it's Wilson. It's a short one here, complete to his tight end. That's certainly playing down in distance very well by the defense, isn't it? Take whatever you want underneath, by all means. 
And the punt team on now as this one's sent away. Oh, and what a play on special teams here. This is going to be down inside the five, all the way down at the two-yard line. And he's got to be fired up about that effort. I don't think he could have walked out and placed it any better than where he ended up putting the football. That was excellent. A pretty good-looking run there on first down. That'll go for nine yards, just short of the line to gain. Nine yards is the pick up there, and they'll have a second and one. On second down, Michelle. And not much here as he'll get it to the 11, maybe the 12-yard line. He can muster only a yard there, and they'll be left with a third and very short. On third down, White. And able to get it across the 20 before they get to it. That goes as a gain of 11 and a Patriot first down. It's been a remarkable day at the office for him running the football. Those yards just continue to pile well past 100. And how about more than double-digit carries in the second half alone? That's what you want as a runner because you've got to prove to your offensive line that you're going to be as tough as they are. They don't rotate in and out on every play. Running backs often do, so those who can stay out there with their offensive linemen, those are the guys they really value. On second down, Michelle, and he's going to be met at the line of scrimmage and taken down. Now it looks like we've got a Patriot down, slow to get up. We'll get a report when we return to Foxborough. These guys have punted four times already, and they're staring at a fifth, barring a conversion here on third down. Here's White, and he's going to have the first down yardage to the 35. They only get two there, but on third and one, that's all they needed to keep the drive going. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. Brady. This is White on the screen. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight, second and two. Facing a second and two after that last catch, good for eight yards. They'll run with a former member of the Crimson Tide, Damian Harris. And he'll be brought down just shy of midfield at the 49-yard line. They'll run on first down. White, and he's up across midfield and down into Seattle territory. It's a six-yard gain on the ground, and that'll make it second and four. And now whistles and a flag, and I think we got to jump here. A free five yards as the defense jumps. I know it's an anticipation game for them, but it's also a reaction game, and they reacted poorly on that one. Opting to run again here with White. They'll wind up getting four down to the 36. Following the pickup of four, here's second and six. To throw is Brady. And this one incomplete. Too much contact to hold on to that one, and it's third down. They'll need to get it to the 30 for a first. This is third down. Now Brady. A bullet throw, but incomplete. Oh, man, for him to be that wide open and drop it. Sometimes you have just too much time on your hands. Oh, they get to the football. It's blocked. Those really long field goals, when they are made, they are things of beauty. But there is a danger to getting them started, isn't there? Yeah, with that low drive, you've got to really keep it low to the ground, don't you, to get that distance. Yeah, hard to just pop it up in the air because otherwise it's not going to get there. So he's got to drive it low in order to have the distance, and that usually puts it in jeopardy, gives him a chance to block it, and everyone knows it on the other side. That's when you get your best jumpers on the other side of the field and try and get up and get it. Here's Wilson. This one into the hands of Metcalf. And he'll be corralled out across midfield down to the 45. It's a gain of 12 first down Seahawks. And with that last play, he's now up over that 300-yard mark. And in today's NFL, it almost feels routine. And I hate that when you talk about a 300-yard passing game. To me, 300 yards still signifies excellence 
and he's achieved that in this performance. Here's Penny on the counter. And he's corralled, but not before getting it inside the 35. 11 yards there and a first down for Seattle. Back-to-back -back good plays have him on the move on first down. Wilson after the play fake to Carson. Under pressure, and he will go down. Sacked back at the 38. Michael Bennett able to get in there for his second sack of the afternoon. Got to assume this defense will be charging again here. It's second and 15. Back now in Foxborough. It's the Seahawks with the possession. They also have the lead here as we get set for the fourth and final quarter. On second down, here's Penny. He'll be hit down at the 33, five yards on the play. And the Seahawks on third down. They've converted a third of their opportunities, three for nine. This is third and 10. Out of the gun, here's Wilson. And he finds Penny. And he maybe makes it back to the line of scrimmage. That's it. They dialed up the blitz on third down, and your worry is a defense that they can hit you with a big play in that situation. Instead, the blitz pays off, able to rally to the football and make the play. Myers' kick is good. And that will extend their lead even further. So that's a big one. Obviously, Charles makes it a two-score game, his third field goal of the game, able to knock it through. Yeah, not exactly free and clear yet, but as a defense, you get to play a little bit looser, don't you? Because you do now have a little bit of a margin of error, don't you? That'll be taken in the end zone. And he'll elect not to return this one, so go. they'll bring it go. out to the 25 on the touchback. Out comes the New England offense to see what they can do this time. The last time they had a little bit of a special teams breakdown, a field goal was blocked. Yeah, and everything has to be precise in the kicking game. Snap, hold, kick, obviously the blocking to keep people out. So what you really want to do is get in there and get six points and take the pressure off of those guys. Brady now to throw. He's going to float this one deep right side. And that will be incomplete. Would have been a big hitter if they had connected. Instead, it's second down. Looking back to the air on second down, it's Brady. And he rifles one incomplete. So back-to-back -back incompletions, and that has him staring at a third and 10. From the gun, it's Brady. And that will be incomplete. Now, he's been a busy man out of the backfield. They've looked his way quite a bit so far in this game. Nice job there defensively, though, adjusting, because a couple of his earlier catches, he was wide open. Not that time. You mentioned the key word, adjustment. A better cover man on him now in space. So possession goes over here on the punt, and it'll be Seahawk football first and 10. Wilson and the Seahawks take over now first and 10 at their own 23. A little jet sweep to start the drive. And nothing doing. He's immediately taken down at the line of scrimmage. Dante Hightower on the stop. Looking to throw on second down. Wilson. He'll find Metcalf. And he'll get this one way up just shy of the 45-yard line. 22 yards there, a first down. Now we've got whistles and movement up front. I think this is against Seattle. Nab that one on Dwayne Brown. First round pick back in 08. A full start backs him up five. First and 15. After the penalty, it's Penny. He'll get about three as he's brought down right around the 42. On second and 12, Wilson, and incomplete. J.C. Jackson there defensively to knock it away. And the Seahawks on third down. They're hitting at just 30%, three for 10. This is third down and 12. 
Open man is Metcalf. He's got it. And they'll work this down to the 40-yard line. Tackled there. Defense. They're down here in the fourth, and that personal foul penalty is not going to help. No, in these types of situations, players will tell you that's extra intensity. From where we sit, it's actually frustration. Not a good play. He's got his tight end complete. It's green. And down inside the 15, shy of the 10. They get the tackle, Marcus Gilbert. Second round pick back in 2011 out of Florida. Here's Wilson to throw. They set up the screen to Penny. Give him nine on the play, and it'll be second and 11. If nothing else, they've already taken a couple minutes off the clock here already as they come up second down. Now Wilson toward the center of the field, but it's incomplete. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. Throwing again here, Wilson. Now they go screen, it's complete. And he'll be stopped short of the first down, right around the 18-yard line. Now it looks like we've got a Patriot down, slow to get up. We'll get a report when we return to Foxborough. So on fourth down, out trots the kicker in a big spot here. This just a 35-yard attempt from the left hash. And Myers able to knock it through, and that will stretch the lead up to 13. So they settle for just the three, but clearly right now anything helps trying to salt this one away in the fourth. Without a doubt, obviously a touchdown probably would have been the final nail to finish this thing off, but it's still eight up time, got points. So while it's not mission accomplished, it's darn close. That's fielded in the end zone. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. Here comes Tom Brady and the Patriot offense back onto the field. And the passing game, I mean, look at the numbers. It's falling off. When a team is struggling, sometimes you look at the quarterback. When the quarterback starts to struggle, who goes over and picks him up? Yeah, that's always a big one, isn't it? Usually... There's a quarterback whisperer somewhere. And what I mean by that is, whether it's an assistant coach, whether it's one of his best friends on the team, someone that can get in his ear, get with him and say, all right, my man, what do you need? What's going on here? So there's one person he can lean on. He's going to have to lean on that guy right now. Brady now on first down. And this one complete to Smith. And he'll be out of bounds up near the 45 at the 44. It'll be a gain of six, and it'll be second down. To throw again on second down. Brady looking for Edelman, and he hits him. It's complete. And he'll be brought down at the 48-yard line. That one, a first down pickup of eight. So signs of life in what's been a dormant offense in this second half. Here's first and ten. A little bit of space there for the first down run as that's going to get him about five yards. Five yards on the carry. Good pickup on first down. Second and five now. Brady. Oh, that's one to warm the hearts of all those old school football players, isn't it? Tough, hard, gritty run. Got behind his pads. Bowled over a few people. Look at that one. Right up the gut. So up through three quarters. No reason to lighten up now. Throwing his Brady on third down. And that's caught by Smith. And that'll wind up moving the chains again as the tackle's going to be made at the Seahawks 33. Brady's got his guys first and 10. And he's four for four now, throwing the ball to start the drive. Now Brady. And seeing no options, he just tosses this one away incomplete. Now that'll bring up second down. Brady's incompletion on first down leads to a second and 10. To throw, it's Brady. And on the connection, this is Ryan Izzo, complete. And he's able to get it down to the 25-yard line. Eight yards on the completion, but now they face third down. Let's not quibble about the game there on second down. That was a positive play because that was a take-what-you-can-guess situation. Got out to the tight end. Now it gives a much better opportunity to convert on third down. The Patriot passing game is rolling. They've got another first down. 
And in a two-score game, obviously, every play, every third down, like we saw there, magnified big pickup. It was a huge pickup. What they really want, though, is to not even get to third down. They've got to maximize time and conserve as much as possible. And the stop will come inside the five at the four. He'll get a nice chunk there on the first down run, and it's second and four. On second down and four, Brady. Oh, he can't get away, and Brady will go down. The sack by Marcus Hunt. And we say it all the time, have to be able to get rid of the ball sooner than that. You have to help your offensive line out. They're going to protect you as best they can. And if you're getting three to five seconds to throw the ball, they're doing a really nice job. But when you hold it and give up a sack, you're really almost discrediting their work. Tough spot for the Pats now after the sack as Brady will lead them up third and long. Now Brady. And probably the wise decision there. No one open. He just throws it away. And that keeps the field goal on the table as it's fourth down. And they're indeed going to go for it here on fourth down. So trailing here in the last quarter. Let's see how this plays out. Brady going to throw. And this is caught. Touchdown, Patriots. Ryan Izzo. His first touchdown here of the new campaign as his guys are back within a single score. Boy, what a job there. Fourth down that far away from the end zone just to get it in, get that done. An unlikely result, but it occurred nonetheless. But a terrific play. Great way to finish and in the end zone. And the defense has to be scratching their heads, right? That's usually to their advantage. In that situation, they should be able to make a play on the ball. But instead, it turned out to be a touchdown. And they've got to go figure it out on their sideline. It took them an extra look, but they found out it is a touchdown indeed. The official says this one counts. Goskowski with the extra point. And now things get a bit more interesting here in this fourth quarter. That one in the books as a 12-play drive. And it's finished off by a Pats touchdown. Goskowski now, after the touchdown, he'll send this one away. This fielded at the two. And he'll bring it a few past the 20 to the 23-yard line. Well, let's gaze our attention as the offense takes the field on Rashad Penny. And we have seen a decline in the numbers. Where does the fault lie? Just him, maybe the guys up front combination? Well, as you and I both know, it's almost always a collective deal. But in this case, I think maybe the offensive line got a little overconfident. They had blocked so well in the first half, picked up on what the defense was doing. I think we've seen an adjustment now that they have not picked up on, and now they're being a little bit overwhelmed. They try to throw on second down, but this one is incomplete. Green once again, the intended receiver, and it's third down. On third down, Wilson. That's incomplete, but there is a flag down, so hang on. A big call coming on third down. So instead of giving them another third down, they'll decline it, brings up four. Now that's smart football right there. You don't even have to really spend a lot of time considering it. Just know that you're probably going to get the ball back. Good job declining that penalty. And that ball's going to angle out at the three-yard line. A beauty. You hate to give the ball away here in the fourth quarter while you're just holding a slim lead. But that punt, absolutely ideal. They pin them inside the five-yard line. They give their defense a really nice opportunity. And he'll get this only up to about the three-yard line. Credit him with a one-yard gain there to make it second and nine. They stay on the ground with White. Showed some flash on the run, but he will be brought down shy of his 10. Give him five on the carry there, and it'll set up a third down. One of the bigger plays in the game thus far. The crowd getting into it as we come up on a big third down. Oh, it's a screen pass. That's complete. And he is going to have the first down as he's up to his own 13-yard line. Let's go, let's go. A five-yard pass on the heels of a five-yard run. Good enough for the first. Brady now on first down. He's got a man complete. It's Julian Edelman. And the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. 
fourth quarter, down to the final two minutes, and we've got a one-score game. So the Patriots with the football as we get you reset. They come up on a second down now in a game that looks like it's going to go down to the wire. Back to throw over the middle. Julian Edelman, it's complete. And he'll get to the 29-yard line brought down there. Back to throw. It's caught. Smith. And they'll wind up getting this to the 37. Gain of nine. He's back to throw. And a dump off to White. And he'll bring it up here to right at the 40-yard line. First down now, but the clock continues to move. They'll look to throw. And that'll wind up incomplete. Try to give his man room to run under it, but it's second down. Brady's incompletion on first down leads to a second and 10. He'll look to throw, and he can't get a throw away. He's taken down. Now the Patriots going to use one of their timeouts as they get the stoppage with a little over 50 seconds left to go in the game. Back to throw, Brady. Got his man, that's Harry. It's a gain of 26 as they pick up the first down in the process. Tell you what, he's been able to put the ball in some tight spots all game long. That throw, no different. Yeah, a lot of people would call it a gutsy type of a throw. I think he looks at it as, I can do it, so it's not that big of a deal to me, and I'm gonna keep firing. Brady's got his guys first and 10, and he's six of seven now on this drive. And that is caught on the right sideline, but out of bounds, says the line judge. The throw took him a little too far. It's second down. To throw is Brady. And that'll be incomplete. Took a pretty good shot as he tried to pull that one in. Couldn't hang on third down. This offense was on the move. Now two straight incompletions have him looking at third and ten. Brady to throw. He gets it complete to Harris. And they'll get him down at about the 37, well short of the first. So down six, and they know they need this one on fourth down. And that will be incomplete with a clock down now to 13 seconds. They had to go for it with such little time remaining. And the Seahawks are going to take over the football. Now the Patriots will use the second of their timeouts as they'll stop the clock with 12 seconds to go in the football game. Hey, let's get that ball, Dean. Let's get that ball right here. What? And they will take a knee here. The Patriots will take their third and final timeout as he'll stop it with 11 seconds remaining in the ball game. So time to start going in the other direction as they come up now third and long. And they'll indeed take a knee. So the victory here for Seattle. And of course, this win, a big one. They can hang their hat on this victory on the road against the defending Super Bowl champs. And you know how difficult it is for the team that wears the crown. Because they're going to get everyone's best shot. So let's face it, they circled this game. We're going to go in there and take down the defending Super Bowl champs. This is our opportunity. They're not going to walk out of here with a trophy today but they will walk out with respect around the league. And to them, that's vitally important. So for the Seahawks, it was a great all-around performance as they come out of this one with the victory. And they will head back home next week. Meanwhile, for New England, they'll drop to 0-2. And, and they'll try again next week at home against New England. So that'll do it for us, for my partner, Charles Davis, and all the hardworking men and women on our crew. I'm Brandon Gordon. You've been watching the NFL right here on EA Sports. And with that, we say so long from Foxborough.